We understood that it ups serotonergic activity. We said, well, maybe the problem with depression is it's caused by too little serotonin, okay? That's the, that's the, um, how it would, that was the origins. But now after they have this hypothesis, they have to see, do depressed patients, before they go on an antidepressant, do they have low serotonergic activity? Or do schizophrenia patients, and I'm just labeling using the diagnostic term, okay? People so diagnosed, do they have too much dopamine in their, in their in activity, okay? And therefore, the drug helps bring it back into balance, okay? Now, what you find, this is a long search for this, but what you find is they didn't find that to be so, okay? They did not find that, as a matter of course, people with depression had low serotonin. They did not find that, as a matter of course, people with schizophrenia or psychotic disorders had overactive dopamine systems. And I'm going to just show you this. As early as 1984, the NIMH, that's the National Institute of Mental Health, which is our big agency for um, funding research into mental disorders, okay? So this is the top mental agency. This is, this is our government funding this research. And what did they conclude in 1984? It doesn't look like there's a problem with the serotonergic system. We're just not finding it. And by the way, the way they measured this, the way they looked at this, remember I told you that uh, that molecule is removed from the gap in two ways, either back into the presynaptic neuron or an enzyme comes along and metabolizes it? Well, they said they could measure those metabolites in the cerebral spinal fluid, and they said, well, if depression is due to low serotonin, we should see then low levels of those metabolites, and they didn't find it, okay? So who's Steven Stahl? He's a, he's, a, he's a molecular psychiatrist. He believes that we're going to find the molecular keys to these things. But he writes a textbook. He's very well known. And what did he conclude in 2000? There is no clear and convincing evidence that monoamine, serotonin is a monoamine, okay? Deficiency accounts for depression. That is, there is no real deficit. How about schizophrenia? Who's Stephen Hyman? Stephen Hyman is a former director of the NIMH. My point is, I'm presenting to you the conclusions of people who did the research, okay? Very mainstream, prestigious people. What does he say? There is no compelling evidence that a lesion in the dopamine system is a primary cause of schizophrenia. Didn't find it. How, who's Kenneth Kendler, one of the world leaders in searching for chemical imbalances? So what does he write in 2005? We have hunted for big, simple neurochemical explanations for psychiatric disorders, and we have not found them. Now, finally, this is my favorite quote. Who's Ronald Pies? He's the former editor-in-chief of Psychiatric Times, which is a, basically a publication of the American Psychiatric Association. Now, this story of chemical imbalances has fallen so completely apart in the United States. I'm sort of, the one place it still lives is in Sweden, oddly enough, quite a bit. And then, well, it's partly in Sweden because they were, their scientists were integral to creating it in the first place. But what does he say? He says, in truth, the chemical imbalance notion was always a kind of urban legend, never a theory seriously pr propounded by well-informed psychiatrists. So what psychiatrists at the top of this are saying now in the United States, we never said this. And I was giving a grand rounds at Massachusetts General Hospital, which is a Harvard hospital of, uh, of many years ago, like five years ago. And they were mad, and it was sort of a debate situation. And they were mad at me, they said, you know, you made us look bad by saying we told people that there were chemical imbalances. And the guy says, we knew that was outdated 25 years ago, 1985. And I said, you know, you're right. You did know it was outdated and it had fallen apart in 1985. But I'm pretty sure you forgot to communicate it to the American people. <laughs>